it is the chemical reaction come here chemical reactions and equations this is the chapter in class 10 science as you have earlier learned about the physical change and chemical change the chemical change you know a kind of change in the chemical change a new product is formed and that cannot be reversed by reversing the condition of the reaction so here this is an example of a chemical reaction we, we can write in the word form also so here it is written in the word form the magnesium and along with the magnesium the oxygen which when they combine with these two when we burn the magnesium in the atmosphere it take the oxygen from the atmosphere and form a new product that is the magnesium oxide so this is the representation of a chemical reaction and this is called a chemical equation chemical equations uh, have the two sides the in the left hand side in the left hand side uh, the reactant are taken the uh, uh, chemicals which are take part in the reaction are written in the left hand side so here magnesium plus oxygen these two chemicals are taking part in the reaction which are placed here in the left hand side and in between these two a arrow is there and it is uh, directed towards the uh, product side uh, after the reaction the whatever the compound is formed is known as the product so here it is the magnesium oxide is the product and one more thing this is a reaction which represent only the chemical names but not the exact number of the atom of the different elements so such element is named as skeletal equation in which number of atoms of the different element are not equal okay an arrow sign shows the direction of the reaction. Reaction taking place when the magnesium combined with the oxygen, a new product is formed that is the magnesium oxide. So reaction is going from left to right. So the arrow sign is from left to right here. You can see. And I already have said that the left hand side, the chemicals which are taking part in the reaction are known as the reactants. And the chemical which formed after the reaction is known as the product so here product is the magnesium oxide when we have to balance this equation meaning of the balance is that as you know in class 9 you have learned that the law of the conservation of mass law of the conservation of as you have learned earlier in class 9 the law of conservation of mass during a chemical reaction no new matter is formed or neither uh, uh, matter is destroyed this is also applied in this reaction so as you know the mass of an element is represented by its number of atom so in this equation if it has to follow the law of the conservation of mass then the number of the atom of the different elements uh, in left hand side must be equal to the right hand side then only we can say that it has followed it has obeyed the rule of the conservation of mass and as you know it is the universal truth that law of the mass uh, conservation of the law of the mass is uh, universally true so here you can see that in equation first here uh, number of the atom of mg is 1 because they, when, when there is no number it means 1 is there. So 1 atom of the mg is here, 2 atom of the oxygen is here, altogether 3 atom are in the left hand side. But in the right hand side, the pro product side, 1 mg atom and 1 oxygen atom is there. So totally the 2 atoms are there. So it is not uh, a, a true depiction of the conservation of mass. So, this equation is not a balanced equation. In a balanced equation, the number of the atoms of the different element in the product side, in the product side must be equal to the uh, 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 reactant side. So, the whatever be the number of the atoms of the different element in the product side and in the uh, reactant side must be equal. So, here let us check it is equal or not in second in this equation number of the atom of magnesium is 2 okay 
and in the product side also the number of the atom of magnesium is 2 because these two is for all the atoms which are behind the this two number so this two is for magnesium 2 and this two is for the oxygen 2 so here the number of the magnesium atom is 2 in the product side and the number of the atom magnesium in the in the reactant side is also 2 so it is equal in both the sides now let us see the oxygen oxygen number of atom is 2 in the reactant side and let us see here in the product side it 2 it will be multiplied with the oxygen 2 so the number of the atom of oxygen is 2 in the product side also here so the two number of, of oxygen atom is here in the product side and two number of the atom of oxygen is in the reactant side so in this way we can see here that the number of the atoms number of the addition which we are observing which says the number of the atoms of the different element are equal in the reactant side as well as the product side such a equation in which number of the atoms of the different element are equal in the both side are known as the balanced chemical equation so this is an example of the balanced chemical equation now the chemical equation can be divided into two categories according to the uh, intake of energy or the release of energy so the some reactions which take energy in the form of the heat light or electricity are known as endothermic reaction in endothermic reaction during the reaction energy is required to complete energy is required to complete the reaction so here the example one this calcium carbonate is uh, break down into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide by getting heat heat is being given here so in any endothermic reaction heat is given out then a reaction in which heat is given out to complete the reactions are known as the endothermic reaction so this is the first example of the endothermic reaction and the second example is here h2o when it is being electrolyted in a beaker by putting two electrodes uh, of a uh, uh, positive and uh, negative uh, sides of electricity then it's break down into its constituents as you know the water is made up of the two things that is the hydrogen and oxygen so it get break down when it's get the electricity electricity is what it is the form of the energy so when it gets the energy then it break down into hydrogen gas and the oxygen gas so here in this example also we are able to see that for uh, breaking down of the h2o electricity is required so this is also kind of the endothermic reaction because this requires a form of energy electricity as you know it is a form of energy and the third example is also there that is the silver chloride when put in sunlight then it's break down into silver and chlorine gas this uh, break of the silver chloride into silver and chlorine takes place due to the uh, observation of the sunlight so here energy is in the form of sunlight and uh, this reaction takes place due to the uh, uh, receives absorption of the sunlight so this is also an example of the endothermic reaction because all in these three reactions we have seen here the energy is taken in the exothermic reaction as i have already taught you about the endothermic reaction which require energy to complete there are reactions when they takes place energy evolved in the form of the heat or in the form of light so the reactions in which heat or another form of the energy is evolved is known as the exothermic reaction here example is when we take quick lime uh, along with the water they get reacted and this reaction takes place very vigorously and calcium hydroxide is prepared that is also called the select lime and a huge amount of heat evolved so exothermic reaction are those reaction in which during the reaction a huge amount of the heat is created or heat evolves 
So first we have divide the reactions, chemical reactions in two category. First is the endothermic reactions and second are the exothermic reactions. In endothermic reactions, heat is required to complete the reaction. In endothermic reaction, heat is released by the reaction after the completion of the or during the completion of the reaction. So uh, according to the energy, uh, we have divided the chemical reactions in the two form. Now we are going to discuss the uh, different kind of the uh, uh, first uh, first I will uh, discuss about the balancing of the equation so let us see here a chemical equation is uh, taken it is the ferrous plus H2O the two things are in the reactant side ferrous is there H2O is there and after the reaction taking place the ferric oxide is formed and the hydrogen gas get liberated so here in this uh, reaction we have to balance this reaction and for the balancing of reaction two three things we have to keep in our mind first we have to break it all the compounds we have to break it all the compounds in the reactant side as well as in the product side thereafter we have to search out the which molecule is the biggest one so here in this equation we can see fe3o4 is the biggest molecule uh, because it has the seven number of the atoms altogether the three ferrous atom and the four oxygen atom so the biggest molecule here is the ferrous oxide okay so first we will take this compound in which the number of the atoms are greatest and in this compound we will take a element which has the most which is the largest number of the atom so here in this compound we can see the ferrous atom are 3 and oxygen atom are 4 so the greater number of the atom the oxygen has so for balancing discuss about the type of the chemical type of the chemical reactions usually there are four types of the chemical reactions first type is known as the combination reaction in combination reactions two or more reactant when take part in a chemical reaction combine together and form one product so in this example you can see calcium oxide quick lime is reacting with the h2o water the two things are taken here and after the reaction taking place it change into calcium hydroxide which is a compound so two compound has taken part in the reaction and after completing the reaction only one compound is formed so a reaction in which two or more reactant taking part and after the reaction only one product is formed are known as combination reactions so this is an example of combination reaction and second example of the chemical reaction is also given here the two hydrogen atom molecule combined with the one molecule of the oxygen combine the two molecule of the h2o so here the two different reactant are there and after the reaction only one product is there so this is also an example of a combination reaction so now i think it is clear to combine about the combination reaction that two or more reactant when combined to form a product then such a chemical reaction is known as the combination reaction so this was the first kind of the chemical reaction and second kind is the decomposition reaction decomposition means to break down so in this reaction one reactant when break down into two or more one reactant when break down into two or more react products such a reaction is known as decomposition reaction in decomposition reaction energy is required so here the example you can see the ferrous sulfate when uh, in solid form taken and it is being heated then after it is being heated it break down into ferric oxide plus sulfur dioxide gas and sulfur trioxide gas so from one compound from one molecule that was the ferrous sulfate it has broken down into three different compounds first is the ferric oxide second is the sulfur dioxide third is the sulfur trioxide so here we can very easily you can see that one compound has broken down into two three 
different compounds. So a reaction in which one reactant broken down into two or more products is known as the decomposition reaction. The second, the second example of the decomposition reaction is here also. You can see the calcium carbonate when being heated, it decomposes into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide gas. So, in a decomposition reaction, very easily you can see that one reactant broken down into two or more products. This is the definition of the decomposition reaction. Now comes the third kind of the reaction that is known as the displacement reaction. In displacement reaction, element which is more reactive that displaces which is more reactive that displaces the less reactive metal from their compounds as for example in this ferrous taken along with the copper sulfate aqueous and ferrous in the form of the solid and when they being reacted the ferrous sulfate is formed in aqueous form and copper is being liberated so what we see here we see here that the ferrous has entered into the compound, the ferrous sulfate and copper was displaced from the compound. Why? Because ferrous is the more active, more reactive than the copper. So ferrous combined with the sulfate, replacing the copper from the compound. So this kind of a reaction in which the more reactive element displaces the less reactive element from their compounds is known as the displacement reaction. So this is the first example. Ferrous displaces the copper from the copper sulfate and form a new compound, ferrous sulfate and copper is being displaced. Then second example is lead uh, reacted with the copper chloride, cupric chloride and after the reaction lead chloride is formed and copper was displaced from the cupric chloride. So here also we can see that the lead is the more reactive than the copper. So lead has displaced the copper from its compound and form a new compound, the lead chloride. So these two are the examples of the displacement reaction. The fourth kind, the fourth kind of the chemical reaction is the double displacement reaction. In this kind of the reaction, when the two compounds are taken, then their ions or their radicals exchange their compounds, exchange themselves and form two new compounds. Such a reaction in which the two compounds break down and their ion exchange and new compounds are formed, such a chemical reaction is known as double displacement reaction. Here in example you can see. The sodium sulfate reaction. So here is the example of the double displacement reaction. Sodium sulfate aqueous combined with the barium chloride, and after reaction taking place, the barium sulfate is formed and sodium chloride is formed. So in this reaction, very well you can see that the ions of these two compounds has exchanged their places and the new compound has been formed. So a reaction in which the ions are exchanging their places in the compound and the new compounds are formed is known as the double displacement reaction. And one more kind is there in a uh, reaction in which uh, after the reaction a precipitate is formed is known as the precipitation reaction. So here in sodium sulfate, it is in aqueous in form, it means it is dissolved in the solution and barium chloride, it is also in aqueous form, it is also dissolved in the so solution and after the reaction, the two things are formed. One is the barium sulfate, which is in the form of solid, which settled down at the bottom of the beaker in the form of precipitate. So a reaction in which precipitate is formed is known as precipitation reaction. So this is the another kind. And now reactions are also defined in the form of oxidation and reduction. Oxidations are those reactions in which when oxygen combine with a 
matter or with a compound or hydrogen liberated from that compound this process is known as the oxidation here copper is combining with oxygen forms copper oxide this is the example of oxidation because oxygen is combined with the copper and also if hydrogen will be displaced from any compound that is also known as the oxidation and the second example we can see here the copper oxide reacted with hydrogen then copper get liberated and s2 is formed here we can see that the oxygen from the copper oxide has liberated from the copper oxide and copper liberated so oxygen gone away from this compound and copper is now separate so the going away of the oxygen or combining with the hydrogen is known as the reduction reaction and when this oxidation and reduction process goes on simultaneously in a reaction simultaneously means together if in a reaction okay thank you today I finished the chapter but one more thing i want to say you that the friends which are not connected now at present you tell to them that the classes are going on and so they also must contact uh, with these classes and uh, get their studies and one more thing i want to say that follow the rules of the lockdown and remain safe okay thank you